Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce DAO and in this video I'm going to show you how we can copy products from other Shopify store. Now I'm going to I'll show you for example this one, I'm going to copy everything that they have in a few simple steps. But right before we're going to jump into the video, if you're new here, I'm writing a newsletter about dropshipping, how to increase conversion rate, make more money, success stories, new apps on the market that you can try. All of that you're going to learn uh, down below in the newsletter. And let's just now start with the tutorial and how we can use it so what we can do and what we are going to do we are going to install a tool called copy copy products you're going to find it in Shopify app store and I'm going to add the app important thing to know is that you don't want to copy everything like they have you want to change it optimize it in a way if they are you're going to use it uh, I'm going to show you right now uh, the images which are from the sellers from aliexpress that's fine but you can have a problem if they are actually using their own original images therefore i don't know if i would go that way uh, only because you can get strike dmc8 etc now you can have a one day free trial for testing this out then it's like 2.99 so i'm going to click here approve and let me show you what you can do. So when you're going to be here, we're going to have option to import a single product or import a multiple products. So welcome. If this is your first time using copy, here are some quick instructions. Import single product, enter the URL. You will be then able to edit some details like title and description and import product. So I'm going to import this product right here. Import product. And we have it right here. So. First thing, my recommendation is using like chat open eye to actually come here and where we have it. Yeah. When you can have a description and title, product title, write me a synonym or rephrase me this text. And just use, uh, oh, okay, this wasn't really great rephrasing, <laughs> but what you can do is just like create your own unique title. When you're going to have images from AliExpress, that's fine. But actually know that if you're going to use the images that a Shopify store, your competitor got unique, then it's a little bit tricky only because then you can get DMCA. You can have the product handle, a product vendor and product title here. Then you can have it taxable or no. And then you're going to have the average product price here that you can change and average product compare at price. Then when you go further, you're going to have the product collections that the product will be added to the default collection. And you can have create a collection or select collections. And then you can have product description. This is something that we would add uh, that I would add to that open eye rephrase me this. And you need to have it unique. So let's see the difference that we have here comparing to this part here. Experience instant cost with the unisex. Yeah, much better, much better. Now, uh, this is something that you can do is to use a rephrase or even rephrase so it's not really known uh, for the chat open eye. You can play around with it, but that's something that I would do if I want to do it. Of course, I'm not sending socks, but I just wanted to show you how it can be done. Now, when you go further, you can have some cushioning, okay. And then you can have also product variants here. So you can have the price, compare it price, and then you can have the product tags that you can change or add or remove all. Now, when you will have it, you want to import product. And then when you're gonna have it, you're gonna find in products. So 
So when we go here to app, we have option to import symbol, sim single product or multiple products. And when we go to product, here it is. So I'm going to preview an online store and look at this. So we have it right here. And that's how it's possible to be done. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, let me down below in the comments. My recommendation is also using app. You're going to find uh, the links down below in the description for the Cola Inspector. So not only if you want to uh, like get the products from them, what you can do is to use a Cola Inspector that I'm using. It is going to show you like important data, what applications they are using, what kind of theme they have. You see they get a, get a like chargeback protection here. Then also uh, they have the social login. Uh, then all, you can find products. When was the first time the product published on their store? How many products they have? Average price, highest price, even the best sellers. And you can have the live sales, what they are selling right now. So that's something that you can definitely do. And in my opinion, that's a good thing. And then you're going to have the ad campaigns here. Right? That you're going to have Facebook, Instagram. So uh, that's how it's possible to be done. And then you're going to have also the traffic to know, like, mm, Okay, from where the traffic is coming, visitors, etc. I want to also show you a different store that I have here. You can really find it here. Yeah. So, for example, like this the traffic sources, the countries, uh, the ad campaigns they are running. And that's how it's possible to be done with the Cola Inspector. So, Cola Inspector is also another option to analyze your competitor and it can be good addition when you're copying the copying the products to learn more about the Shopify store. So if you can have any questions, let me down in comments. Happy to help you. Definitely if you want to join the newsletter where I'm sharing uh, things like the Koala Inspector. Also there is also a tool called Custom Checkout or something like that for having one step checkout for your Shopify store. So that's something you can have too. And yeah. So thank you very much guys for watching. And have a great day. And goodbye.